Hi, this is Dr. Desmond Y from Desmond Y Novena Clinic. Today I want to talk about the alpha feeder protein. So I just had a lady, uh, she's in her 50s, she did a health screening and that showed that she had an elevated alpha feeder protein or AFP. She was very nervous, the GP was also very nervous. Uh, she saw her specialist uh, doctor that had taken care of her before. The specialist doctor checked and told her that, well, the first AFP was elevated. Let's do another one to see. So a month later, it was elevated again. So it made her super nervous and she referred to me. So let me explain what is a cancer marker. Alpha feeder protein is a cancer markers or tumor markers. What we mean is that in certain cancers in us, the cancer will secrete the marker and then we can detect it in the blood. But we don't really do cancer markers for general public health screening. For alpha feta protein, it is a cancer marker. It can be elevated in three major types of cancer. Uh, of course, different cancers can sometimes secrete alpha feta protein, but mainly it is, there, it is these three cancers that lead to high AFP. First is liver cancer or hepatocellular carcinoma. And this is why when people have a high AFP, the family doctor refer them to see a liver specialist like myself or my colleagues. Besides liver cancer, AFP can also go up in ovarian tumor or ovarian cancer in the ovary for female, and in testis in the men. Lastly, it can also lead to a mediastinal tumor. A mediastinal tumor can also secrete high alpha feta protein. So I repeat, three major cancers like mediastinal cancer, liver cancer, or testicular in men, ovary cancer in female. Under these three types of cancers, patients can have a high alpha feta protein. But uh, the reverse is not true. Uh, that means a high alpha feta protein does not necessarily mean that they have cancer in these three areas. So I repeat, someone with liver cancer may have a high AFP, but the high AFP doesn't mean they have liver cancer. Uh, so uh, I'll give you an analogy, okay? My favorite analogy. I'm a doctor, I wear spectacle, okay? So in fact, most of your doctors wear spectacle because I think we study too hard or we play too much computer games. So doctors wear spectacles, but you catch somebody on the road, they wear a pair of spectacles. Does it mean that they are doctors? <laughs> Probably not, okay? So a, a liver cancer patient have high AFP, but it doesn't mean that a high AFP equate liver cancer. So I always tell my patients. So uh, an AFP got a problem because um, many years ago, the normal range of AFP was zero to 15. But over the last two years or so, uh, many labs had changed the normal range from zero to 15 to zero to eight. And that's because we noticed that some liver cancer patients may have a high AFP in the range of about 8 to 15. I've seen quite a few number of patients like that. Their liver cancer AFP is within a normal of 0 to 15, but it is a bit on the high side, okay? So the lab had decided to, to change the range of AFP from 0 to 15 to 0 to 8 for most labs. So, uh, so that's to pick up those cancers that are between 8 to 15. In the past, they could have missed them as calling them normal. Now, they will call it abnormal, and they will lead the patient to see one of us. If we do a scan, we pick up liver cancer, we can treat accordingly. So, there are patients, they have a so-called high AFP. They were labeled between 8 to 15. For those patients, I told them that in the past, they will call you normal because the risk of cancer is very low. But now, in order not to miss all the cancers, we the lab changed the range to 0 to 8. So in the past, the same value of 12, for example, in the past it was normal, but now it is abnormal. So I told my patient, if you have a cancer marker of AFP between 8 to 15, the chance of liver cancer is actually very, very small. So and so when I see a patient like that, I will, I will explain this to them first, and I then explain that three different kinds of cancer, mediastinal tumor, uh, germ cell tumor in the ovary or the testis or the liver cancer they have high AFP but high AFP usually doesn't mean they have liver cancer. My liver cancer patient almost always have one risk factor for liver cancer such as um, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, liver cirrhosis from any reason. If there are no risk factor, no hepatitis B, no cirrhosis, no risk factor for liver cancer then they are unlikely to have liver cancer even when the AFP is elevated. 
And so I told my, so this particular patient, she had no risk factor to liver cancer. Her liver function was perfect. She had no liver cirrhosis. And uh, it's just an incidental finding of AFP at about uh, at about 10.4, okay, uh, which is between, more than 0 to 8. So she was a bit worried. So for such patient, the chance of them having liver cancer is very low. So I normally, so I gave her two options. Option one is to repeat the cancer marker about maybe three, four months later. We learned from experience that liver cancer double the size every four to five months. So when someone have a liver cancer, the cancer marker may double every uh, four to five months. And if someone have a nodule in the liver, if it nodule with a cancer, it would double the size every four to five months. So for her, I told her that uh, she can either repeat the cancer marker four to five months later. If the cancer marker really double the value, then we will act like doing MRI kind of thing. But if she's very worried now, and I can't, or nobody can tell her that she does not have cancer anywhere, then we can investigate further. Uh, the investigation I would normally do is to do an ultrasound scan on the pelvis to look for ovarian cancer. Uh, if a man, uh, either I examine the testicles or ask them to examine themselves, look for any swelling, uh, and we do a chest surface to look at any mediastinal tumor. I also will um, do uh, MR of the liver to make sure there's no liver cancer. So if they're very worried, we can investigate aggressively. If they're not very worried and they have a low risk of liver cancer and the AFP level is very low, then I will normally say, well, you have an option. Repeat the cancer marker or uh, do a scan right now, depending on how comfortable, how uncomfortable you are at this time. On the other hand, if a patient had hepatitis B, liver cirrhosis or any other liver problem and they come with a high AFP, I will act very aggressively and say, wow, you have a risk factor of liver cancer, you do an alpha fetoprotein that's elevated, let's investigate it aggressively, you need an MRI, no negotiation. Or in another scenario, when the AFP is very high, say if the alpha fetoprotein is more than uh, 40 or 50, normally they end up having some form of cancer because uh, alpha fetoprotein when they're mildly elevated, it can, some normal people, healthy people have AFP up to 20, but, but even more than 40 and 50, normally there's something cooking in the liver. So to sum up, um, if we have a high A, 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 so sum up, without a good reason, uh, please do not do an alpha fetal protein, okay? We recommend AFP for people that have a known risk factor of liver cirrhosis, liver hepatitis B. They are known, these are the known risk factors of liver cancer. We do AFP for them every six months to screen for liver cancer. Or if you have existing liver cancer or existing ovarian cancer, we will use an alpha fetal protein to monitor the progress of the recurrence and progress to the response to treatment. But if you have none of the above, then we don't really want you to do an alpha fetal protein because if it is high, we call it, well, the chance of cancer is very low. You may be a bit, uh, uh, you know, a bit scared of having high AFP and you spend another $2,000 to do an X-ray, MRI, ultrasound of the pelvis, etc. At the end, there's nothing. So if you have no risk factor of liver cancer, we do not want you to do an alpha fetal protein. If you have, then we do it uh, on a regular basis. If you unfortunately have tested and a high AFP and you're very nervous, do talk to your doctor, talk to him about whether you have any symptom like jaundice, a mass in the abdomen, any abdominal pain, any shortness of breath, any testicular mass, uh, look through the history for any risk factor for liver cancer like hepatitis B and cirrhosis, and discuss with your doctor the options. For that lady, after a long discussion, uh, I, I told her that you, I think the risk of you getting liver cancer is very low. Your high AFP may be just a, a variation, an anomaly, not abnormality. Uh, maybe we don't have to be so aggressive in checking it. And she agreed. So for her, we decided to repeat the alpha fetal protein uh, about three, four months later. If that one is much higher than the current one, I would then push her very hard for MRI. But some other patients that are very nervous when they when they see any abnormal blood test results, then I say, well, let's do an MRI. Even though we expect it to be normal and negative, uh, we still want to do one to, to be sure that nothing serious. So I hope it helped you if you have a high alpha-fetal protein. This is Dr. Desmond Wright. Thank you.